This is a smallmouth bass. It was caught in the Shenandoah River. It looks normal, but it's not. This male fish also has the sex characteristics of a female fish. Biologist Vicki Blazer researches fish in local waters. After 80% of the smallmouth bass in the Shenandoah River died three years ago, she discovered that many were intersex fish. Intersex is when you have characteristics of both sexes in an individual that should be a single sex. Researchers aren't sure, but they think it's endocrine disrupting compounds, including fertilizer and prescription drugs that are contaminating the water and causing the condition. There are things we didn't necessarily think were going to be a problem. That, Just like you mentioned, birth control pills, pharmaceuticals, some of the newer herbicides and pesticides, um, that now we're recognizing can be potential problems. At this point, there's no evidence that these trace levels of contaminants are having a health effect on humans. We sort of use fish as an, as an indicator organism um, because they are constantly exposed. But how did these chemicals get into the water? Things like that can come through um, urban wastewater treatment plants. High estrogen levels are also found in waters near farms. Animals naturally excrete estrogen, and that estrogen spreads through fertilizer usage and stormwater runoff. We have found that the higher the human population, the higher the ag production, the more intersex we're finding. While the fact that this fish is intersex isn't evident to the naked eye, under a microscope, Blazer compares a typical smallmouth bass male cell to an intersex one. So here on the right-hand side, we have a cut of a normal testes where we don't see any of the immature eggs, and all we see is these tubules filled with sperm, the really dark spots. On the left-hand side, um, again, we see some of the tubules that are filled with sperm, but we also see these structures, uh, which are the individual immature eggs. Blazer first found the fish in the south branch of the Potomac River in West Virginia in 2003. Eventually, the Shenandoah drains into the Potomac. In the Shenandoah, we've been finding anywhere from 80 to 100 percent of the males are intersex. In the south branch, it's more between 30 and 50 to 60 percent. I mean, that, that sounds to me like, a, like an awful lot of, uh, of fish. It? It, it is a very high prevalence, and that's why there's a lot of questions. In West Virginia, Neil Augenstein, WTOPnews.com.